Good afternoon everybody, how you all doing? Um, just sort of do a quick quick video just based on near enough two years ownership of the GSX R1000R now it's a 200 brake horsepower bike which to most people probably sounds quite scary well I'll be perfectly honest it can be bloody scary but it all depends on, on, on the rider now you can ride this bike like a happy shopper should you want to you can increase your traction control change your power modes and yeah you can ride this every day like a happy shopper bike ride it like a 1T5 <laughs> well not quite <laughs> but yeah anyway the, the, if the, the first two years of owner experience has been pretty good all round can't grumble whatsoever it went first of all it went in for its I think it was a 600 mile five or 600 mile was the first the first service which will be just your basic oil oil and filter change check all your levels just you know check all your fastenings all your nuts and bolts and what have you so you know yeah not not an expensive service whatsoever and a year on pretty much a year on well no it'll be about a year and a half on we'll see what I've seen clocked up to 600 mile that's the first thing you want to do when you get a new bike is just run it in just second nature just to want to go out and run it in so yeah unlucky for me that was the wrong kind of time of year though it's sort of December time so a lot of mud on the road here so yeah, it's not the best to best time to um, try and run a bike in, but there you go. Anyway, yeah, so first service done, got the bike back, and I've since then clocked up, well, 2,850. So not bad going. I, I I try and get out when I can. Anyway, so yeah, and then I so then had that had another service. Well, it actually it went in for a recall. Yeah, I'll talk about the little recall which was I believe an ABS sensor which was used to used to ride off on the bike and the traction control light would stay on so I believe the situation was so when the battery was was very low that disabled the the, the ABS which is not 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 good at all especially not not in damp conditions anyway so yeah, anyway, Suzuki done a done a recall, so the bike went in for the recall, at which time I thought, well, while the bike's in, they may as well do another service. Although, bearing in mind, the, the next service wasn't due until, I believe, I think it was, as, it might even be as high as 8,000 mile, I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, they've done an oil and filter change. They've done that. And they also stuck a new uh, rear tyre on, which I think the rear tyre, that, that worked out to about pretty sure it's about 150 160 pounds fitted same again well actually no it's the Bridgestone S21 it's enjoying this pint so yeah that worked out quite well really so I, I kind of like killed killed two birds with one stone excuse the, uh, the the figure of speech but so yeah all in all it's been a good good experience the first two years I sold the 600 which was a GSXR 600 L1, which was a, a 2011 plate. Now that was a very, very fast bike. It didn't have all of this traction control. I think it had ABS, if I remember rightly. It didn't have half the the, the electronics this has got. But then this has got a lot more power, obviously. And we've got the Euro 5, well, Euro 5 um, emissions and standards that we have to you have to meet with the bikes so yeah anyway so i'd come off that onto this and instantly it, this you don't actually feel like you're riding a thousand cc bike until you start opening this up the weight difference there's not a lot of difference in the weight once you're rolling like most bikes i think this is like 200 kilos in weight 
which is about, about normal for most modern sport thousand sports bikes so yeah all in all I can't grumble I can't grumble whatsoever I've done a couple of track days on it so I've done a pretty much an all-round experience of, of the two-year ownership of this bike I've done a little bit of commuting I've done a few long rides out around the twisties and yeah, yeah you, you know my conclusion is you can ride this bike to your heart's content on the track as long as you're careful of course <laughs> and you can ride it on the road every day rain or shine I've not had any scary moments touch wood there's no wood on the round but phew, stinks around here there must be a pig's pig's farm or something oh dear <clears throat> uh, yeah so that's really my, my kind of ownership experience I've had no issues with the bike no issues whatsoever runs lovely starts lovely lovely looking bike I've got the Yoshimura R11 aftermarket exhaust which like I said before if you've seen any other videos feel free to watch them hit that subscribe button much appreciated um, yeah don't don't make your mind up about not buying a bike because of uh, the exhaust the tailpipe you can remove that tailpipe within five minutes and slip another one on and it's absolute you know changes the, the 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 outlook of the bike and the sound and everything the feel factor so anyway that's that's my basic overview on the bike you know i, I kind of maintain it myself i do you know the other than this this first couple of services has had but I, I you know adjust the chain keep the, the chain nice and adjusted all the chain I, I keep the bike in tip-top condition nice and clean wash all the shite off it and uh, yeah can't grumble whatsoever I've, I've considered looking at other bikes no anyway, mate and st I still can't I don't think I could part with this I don't really want a second bike so anyway at the moment anyway so this this is th this is just basically an overview like I say of two years ownership of this bike it's brilliant on fuel which you wouldn't expect for a, a 200 brake horsepower sports bike absolutely brilliant on fuel like you automatically think once you go you start looking at, at that sort of performance in a bike that you'd be at the filling station all the while and but no that's not the case don't think that whatsoever and what we got here Oh, and on another note, what I, what I will mention is I've, I've also used the, tested out the launch control and you'll be very surprised that when you hear this, the term launch control, you think it's going to be like some sort of, I don't know, on the back wheel and just, just outrageous, but with that launch control, what surprised me is how smooth and linear it is, the power. It doesn't just aggressively like launch all that power to the back wheel when we talk about 200 brake horsepower you know it's not actually 200 brake horsepower at the rear wheel that's at the crank so you're going to lose a lot of that so it's probably i'm not sure the exact figures but it won't be 200 brake horsepower at the rear wheel and so you certainly don't get that when you use launch control you don't get that so that is another thing that i've tried and it's quite scary at first when you think oh god you know i'm going to launch this bike down the road but I was I was very surprised at that how, how smooth it was so yeah that's another feature that I've tried out on the bike it's not the sort of thing you're going to use every day and it's also not the not the feature you can use on a track day because you never start from a static start it's always you have to filter out onto the track so that feature you won't you won't even be using that it's just on a closed road of course so yeah that's another feature that is definitely worth well if you've got it it's worth trying so yeah, thanks for for watching. Any any questions or comments? Feel comment. Uh, feel free to comment. And uh, take care. Speak to you soon.